was like the Chloe era, the era of Chloe in Paris and like camel coats and cinched in with boots. Oh my gosh, and I feel like this is exactly that. to the latest episode of Thrift Like a Stylist. This is a series that I've been doing here on my YouTube channel where I bring you into the thrift store and we're gonna think like a stylist. We're gonna approach everything from that lens and the idea behind it is really to treat the thrift store almost like our trend report. We are magazine editors. We are scouring the thrift store, finding all the things that we want for the season. This time around, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. We are going to tackle the entire thrift store and really go into all of the different areas, all the different categories. We're thinking outerwear, shoes, accessories, dresses, pants, all of it. And I'm going to just guide you through the thrift store and let you know what I look for when it comes to each category in that store that lays behind those doors. So I'm gonna share just the different things that I kind of pay attention to, what I have my eye out for, not necessarily specific trends, but just the overall approach as I go into the thrift store in what I'm looking for. This is going to be within the fall winter mindset. So all of those things that I look for when it comes to fall and winter, it's time to go in. So we're gonna treat this thrift store like the Vogue closet and see what we can find. that I love to start in is accessories. I do think accessories are one of the best things that you can buy, invest in, that are gonna just completely change and enhance an outfit. It's like putting all of the frosting, all the decorations, the candles, lighting it, and blowing it out on your birthday. So we're gonna head into the accessories, and that means we're looking for bags, ties, belts, hats, all of the fun frosting. So let's go chuck those out. I love to start in the hat section because you know I love a hat. I think sometimes outfits aren't complete without a hat on, like today. Um, I did a little quick scan. I don't see any that I was drawn to. I, most of the time, always am going to be looking for a vintage hat. So it might be, you know, a 1950s, 60s pillbox hat, which I love to find, but also just great um, cowboy hats. I love to look for like 90s ball caps. Even a fun beanie that feels a little bit like nostalgic 1970s. Looking at all of these, they're all kind of current pieces, mostly probably from Target, so I'm not as interested in them. But I mean, thrift stores really are a great place to find hats. Actually, this is kind of a fun one. I feel like this has like potential, though I'm not, I'm looking for more of the fall winter, but this is a really fun white brim. I'm not going to get this one today but I think looking in the hat section is really a great place to start. The next section we are in is scarves, and when it comes to scarves, I'm either looking for something that's very full of personality, it's gonna add an interesting element to the outfit, it's not the basic scarf, or I'm looking for more of the square shape, maybe cotton or a woven that I can wear in my hair, wear it on the back, wear it around my neck. I did find a few that I think are really cool. For fall and winter, I love to find these longer knit scarves. And I was talking about finding those pieces that feel like they add personality to the outfit. And I feel like this woven one is so much fun. It's got all these ribbons threaded through it. So I feel like you add it to your outfit and it just is something eye-catching, something different. I also just like to think about versatility when it comes to accessories. This doesn't have to be around my neck. I can wear this in my hair. I also think it would be really great as a belt because it's got such unique, cool woven details to it. So if we're going for more of a colorful bohemian look, that would be really fun to play with. And you really could just think about like how are other ways that I can play with this, just adding it here at the waist. And then even like kind of, you could pin it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So if you had a skirt on, I could just throw this over, pin it here, and it just creates this whole extra layer. And I love that this is 
full of character and fun because of all of the colors. Ooh, that's going to my car. We're in the bag section now, and I always think bags are really fun to look at, especially for those statement and little what I like to call party bags. They feel like just little pieces. They're, they're the cherry. They're the little fun that you're carrying in the outfit. And I always feel like thrifting these is so easy because there's just fun bags in the mix. So when it comes to more of the practical, like the bigger bag, I probably am gonna go the route of a nice bag, though I'm like, what is this? But I like to look for more of the little vintage bags or just like the little bits of fun that are gonna add texture and personality. So let's see if we can find any good options. And I do, like to often check just like the quality of it that it's not falling apart it's not plastic that it's really gonna hold up well and that's gonna fill a gap in my closet i don't need a million bags but if it feels like something special that i don't have This is a perfect example of just more of the little fun bits that you could just throw into your outfit. It's gonna just add, even with this outfit, I feel like it would add some extra little personality to it. It's got this almost Santa Claus trim on it, but then it's got these fun little baubles. So just finding fun bags like this, I feel like those are the pe thing people often notice. They're like, oh my gosh, I love your bag, because it just adds that personality. So let's throw that one in. I mean, a great thing to always look for are these kind of little vintage. This one is not in the best condition, but the idea of the little coin purse, I do feel like you can find these a lot of times. And even you can see on the tag, this is probably like more of a maybe 80s or 90s little coin purse. So having these, especially for little parties or fun things where you want to have something to throw your lipstick in and all of that, your phone, just having little party bags, beaded bags. So I do look for this style often at the thrift store. This is another one. This is definitely a little Y2K moment. But what I love about this is it's got this bead detail on it. So I feel like it's almost like you're wearing jewelry when you add this to an outfit to do crossbody like this. And then you add that and you've got this whole another little element to your outfit. So I think this one's going in my cart. This would be really cute in the summertime. I don't need it right now, but that's so much fun. Always love to check the shoe section. I say that. Always love to check the shoe shoe section. Shoe section. <laughs> That's hard to say. Shoe section. I love to look for, I mean, you know, you may stumble on an amazing pair of designer shoes. That doesn't happen that often to me. What I do love to look for are the fun shoes. Like, let me show you an example. My shoes that I'm wearing today, I got at the thrift store the other day. I've been looking for little red shoes. They're square toe. They're so cute, they got a little bow, they have a block heel. They're, of course, they're not in the best condition. I, I, don't, I really don't mind that. You just wanna avoid shoes that are falling apart, try to check the heel, try to make sure the inside isn't full of dry rot, things like that that you know they're not gonna withstand walking out of the store even. But if you can kinda do like a good little check on them before you buy them, but so much fun. So here's a fun example of some shoes. Now these are probably not in the best condition, so I'm not gonna put these ones in my cart, but they're a great example of what I'm looking for. They're just different. They've got a zipper, they've got stars and studs all over them. They're just so much fun. So I feel like finding these little Carrie Bradshaw moments, as I like to call them, in the thrift store is always really fun. But definitely looking for shoes that aren't gonna fall apart the minute you leave the thrift store. Though sometimes you just, you can't tell, but you know, doing your best to, to give a little check. 
In particular this season, something that I've been looking for a lot when it comes to shoes is I love a pointy toe and I love a mule. So when I'm scanning shoes, I often am seeing is it pointy toe, is it a mule, and I'm interested. So this is more of a basic, but I think it's so cute, just these little black suede mules. I always think they're chic, they're fun to throw them in trouser pants, skirts, if you want to do some socks with them. I'm going to try these on. See if they're, oh, they're my size. One of my favorite sections which is outerwear i love to thrift outerwear i honestly think everyone should just thrift their outerwear because the options are endless in the thrift store you don't need to go buy a new coat you can just go to the thrift store because they have everything you want the bomber jackets the faux fur the blazers all of it so right now what i'm looking for is i would love a faux fur option that's um i have a long one that i love but i can't always wear a long one so more of a cropped or shorter faux fur moment i love to look for pieces that are like what i like to call my character pieces so if it's a circus coat if it's you know a pea coat that feels like i've walked off the campus of harvard in 1973 you know something like that so it just adds that story to my outfit when it comes to the outerwear and i like to also look for prints something with texture just something different not just the basics i do have a lot of the basics and i think you could always you know look for the navies and the camel and the black and all of that but i think this is a great place to play with stuff that's maybe outside the box let's see what they have also just especially when i get into this section with tops outerwear i do a quick look at the tag because that often means <laughs> it shows me if I'm interested in looking at it. I can tell if it's a vintage tag usually. I don't necessarily want like a new piece unless it's a brand that I absolutely love. So I often am looking, I'll show you an example just as I go through. I'm just gonna be scanning the tags first off and I can tell, you know, if it doesn't have a tag, I might be interested. Like this one is kind of interesting. It's got a great lining but I'm not loving it. Um, you know, so I kind of scan the tags, which DKY, that's really fun. I mean, I don't need this, but if you live in a cold climate, this would be really cute. Add a little spunk to your outfit. I love that it's green and it's fur trimmed. It's like old DKNY, probably white DK. It's very cute. brand categories that I do love to find. Not this one in particular, but I love a classic Americana brand like an Eddie Bauer, Polo, Ralph Lauren, um, even like Dockers, things like that that are kind of classic American brands often have just really great, what I like to call essentials, just more of those classic pieces. So I do keep my eye out for those. This is a fun character moment. A little raincoat jacket. This great sage green. It's got the gingham detail inside. I love that this has some length and shine to it. Very cute. Yeah. a leather moment in outerwear and there's a few options here this one okay let me tell you this is a little quirky thing about me i realize i don't love things with zippers on the front i want buttons i mean unless it's like a puffer jacket or something like that i like more buttons or no i guess no closure but i a zipper i don't know why i just don't love it but look at this one that i found this is a great leather blazer buttons i love that it's the blazer shape but fully leather. So this is definitely going in my cart. We're gonna try this on. Also, looking for these great, kind of cool, look at this, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This um, kind of patchwork leather. But this is a really interesting shape. I love that it's more of a boxy crop shape. It still has a great collar. It's got buttons on the front. It's got shoulder pads. I'm gonna put this one on. I feel like this one. And also, it's it's not too heavy oh my gosh 
so cute. Okay, let me put it on because I'm feeling good in it. Um, I just said <laughs> that I wasn't necessarily looking for the classics like the camel and the black and the navy, but I did find this camel blazer. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, and I do not have just a classic camel. And if you've been around the world of the fashion, I guess social media era since like, what is that, 2007, camel had like a crazy moment when street style really like became a thing. I don't know if you all remember that, but just everyone was wearing camel coats and they looked so good with red lips. It was like the Chloe era, the era of Chloe in Paris and like camel coats and cinched in with boots. Oh my gosh, and I feel like this is exactly that, but it is everything that I look for when it comes to an oversized blazer. It kind of hits me halfway on the hand. It just kind of perfectly hangs. I have a blazer on, a vest on, and a shirt on, and it still gives me room to play, which is something I'm always looking for in an oversized, because then I can do layering with it. And something I'm always gonna look for is the tag. You can see this, the vintage coattails, the Broadway, which I love, but also this over here, the world's best, it's 100% pure wool. So you know it's just really quality. I don't even know if this was worn. It's in such perfect condition. This is a perfect example of more of a character piece. I love this moment. This kind of reminds me of Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. It's like that, just a little bit wild in the sense of the color blocking, but I love this lime green, or it kind of almost more like avocado green with the purple stitching. And then this is more of a, like a muted plum, but it's got a great shape to it. I, I want to see if this is something I would wear. Something else that I've also realized, I buy it, I don't wear it, is a blazer that I'm locked in that it needs to be cinched in. I want something that I can wear open or closed. Sometimes these blazers really are made to be more closed versus open. So we'll see. I'm going to try this one on. Focusing on outerwear and I have noticed sometimes certain thrift stores, depending on the season, they're going to pull a section off separate from maybe their normal area having it. So we're in that fall winter season. So they pulled coats off to a whole nother area. So I'm going to check out these and see if there's any options. I mean, this is beautiful. This is H&M. So I would look maybe for more of a vintage version, but I do think this is like a great trench coat moment. I'm always looking for the crazy fun stuff, but this is definitely crazy and fun. I love anything that's going to add print to an outfit. I just think print and color draw me in. I also love that this is more of like a tapestry material. Very fun. This is also a really fun blazer. Anything with vertical stripes is interesting to me. I think it makes me think of Vivian Westwood often because she has a lot of vertical stripes in her styling. Also this tag, this gallery tag, and um, just that 100% wool, but that's a great vertical stripe blazer. I've made a TikTok about this, but Anytime you find a classics NTA, that is a uh, Nordstrom brand, but I think more from the 90s and early 2000s, often is good pieces. Like some of my favorites, the Dalmatian print, cow print, Mary Jane's that I have that everyone asks about, those are classics NTA. And then I feel like some of my great blazers are. So anyways, this is a fun little sweater coat moment that, no, I think it's it's fun. So always look for that classics and tear. However you say it. I'm a separate girl, which means I love a pant. Trousers versus jeans. I love jeans, but I love a trouser. I love a skirt. I love a blazer. I love all these pieces that make up the pie. The the outfit recipe all comes together with all the versatile pieces. And to me, a skirt is such a great versatile piece because. It's not jeans and it's not trousers. It's just another option, but you can create that same kind of element that you would create with pants. This is a duh moment <laughs> as it's coming out of my mouth. But I love a skirt. And when it comes to skirts, I, I like more of the midi or the maxi length. Often that's what I'm gonna be drawn to. But I love I love mini mini, but just not as much on me. So kind of knowing what you like when it comes to skirts. And this season, especially in fall, I am always looking for something with a schoolgirl element, so a pleat or something that feels very classic. And going back to that Harvard girl that I'm thinking of, that Ivy League girl. 
So something like that. Um, I love looking for leather. I love a tutu, I mean a Carrie Bradshaw moment, something like that, something very full and dramatic. So those are the types of skirts that I'm looking for. So just because I do know that I like more of the midi or the maxi, I will often scan the bottom before I'll even pull it out because I don't, I don't want a short skirt. I usually don't. So I kind of scan down here below and I can kind of tell if it's something I'm interested in. Okay, this is kind of interesting. This is a, ooh, this is gorgeous. This is a vintage, probably 80s skirt. I also think something to think about are the prints, the vintage prints that you do or don't like. There are some like 90s prints sometimes that I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to wear that all the time. So knowing if you like the print, but this one is just a beautiful maxi skirt. I feel like that is also fun because it's more sheer and flowing, but with a really great knit sweater and a blazer and a, you know, a slouchy boot would be so chic. Or you could kind of more go like evening and you could do like a little crop top and like a faux fur and have more of that like um, Bianca Jagger moment. So this is so cool. Something else. I don't always love to look in the black clothing section. I get lost in it. I also, I do love black in maybe more of a dramatic way or so if it's very full, I want to see it. If it's a puff sleeve, it's a ruffle or something really dramatic, I love it. Or more Chanel black, like tweedy looking. But often I'll, I'll kind of skip over the black section just because you don't always want to wear black unless it's just like a very classic piece. I also think these are fun to look for that I always think of this as like 90s prom little separates <laughs> and I love that this kind of has a mermaid bottom to it and I think skirts like this like the bottom pieces worn with just more of a simple top like even I'm um, doing like I think just a great little tube top with this and some little like those uh, mules that we found like that and a slipped back hair and a big gold earring could be super chic. And this also has more of that look for the holiday season. Even a little cardigan though could look really cute, great with this as well. This is a perfect example of that more schoolgirl classic, I think of even old Celine. And I just, you guys know, last week I talked about the coquette vampire that Chelsea Von Mock put together inspiration, but one of the parts of that character was this kind of secretary, chic, 1970s Celine. And this is a perfect example. It's more of the midi length skirt, so it's gonna hit me, you know, below the knee. It's got these really great little pleat details little uh, pockets it's a classic color put that on with a bow, bow tie blouse like I'm wearing right now honestly with this outfit right here this would be so cute you could also do something very like Queen Victoria or you know thinking of the Highlands and wearing a niche sweater with this and a great uh, blazer writing jacket now, there's a lot of options with this very classic skirt. Moving into trouser pants, I will say this pants are harder to find. They're not always easy. I do feel like it's kind of like finding the needle in the haystack with a great pair of trouser pants. So some of my tricks to it is often I do more scan. I don't search through every single one. I can kind of tell by the waistband. Is it more of a you know? pleated front button closure, which is often what I'm looking for. Does it have a great print that I'd be interested in? Is it a color I like? So I, I weed it down to maybe the sections that I would want to look at. Or sometimes I honestly just walk along and look at the colors, the fabrics, the prints, and see if it's something that I want to pull out and check out. But let's do it today and see if we actually can find anything else. Again, I'm gonna skip over the black here. So scanning along here, I'm just looking at waistbands and I looked at this as pinstripe, which often I love a pinstripe. I pull it out and it's a double pleat, which is often what I'm looking for, higher waist. And then it's got a great, you know, tomboy. It's a great structure to it. So more of that, you know, classic, 
tailored pinstripe pants. All right, so we're now going into maybe it's essential, but not my favorite section of the thrift, which is tops. I have to tell you most of the time I skip over tank tops, skip over knit tops, skip over short sleeve, and I just go straight to the blouses because I do know that's what I like to find. I will sometimes tell myself, today we're just gonna focus on all the top sections that you don't usually go in, and I just zero in on that, and that's all I do. So sometimes you just gotta tell yourself to do that, and I have found some great gems, but I do know in the blouse section that's often the types of things that I'm looking for. So I love a good, you know, 80s secretary, Dallas, that kind of vibe. I love a silk print blouse. I love a 70s disco collar moment. And then, you know, of course, just the crisp, you know, Oxford style button down shirt. So those are the types of things that I'm looking for. And then we'll do a little scan and see what we can find. Right away, I just found this gorgeous, uh, almost like peachy red casual corner, vintage casual corner top. I love that it has pinstripes. I love that it has a balloon sleeve. It's gonna add some color, some print to the outfit. Would actually look really cute with these pants. So that one is going to my heart. So I've kind of dug through all the areas that I know I love that have the types of things that I'm looking for. Something that I do though usually is that I will do a scan of the other section. So I might scan through the tops where I just kind of walk through and I see if there's anything that's drawing my eye and if it's the print or something like that. And when it comes to dresses, I've realized I don't wear dresses a ton but I do love a statement dress for like those special occasions. So I like to just scan often the dress section to see if there are those like, Ooh, what is this, I need to see it. So we're gonna go over to the dress section and do a scan and then we're gonna head to my last and final really good section that everybody should check out. But let's go dress. This is the perfect example of a statement dress that I can't resist. to that I feel like is a must visit is the men's section. This is where I have found some of my best blazers, my best denim, vests that I love, sportswear. Actually some of my great outerwear has been from the men's section so always go into the men's section and check it out. And I will say probably the number one thing that I do look for here that I actually don't look for in the women's is denim. I love a good men's denim. And you can go back to my first Thrift Like a Stylist video, and I'll link it right here. I talk about what I look for when it comes to men's denim. So we're gonna go through and see if there's any must-haves here in the men's section. actually a very cool corduroy blazer that has like some western detail to it. It actually has a zipper, which is funny because I just talked about I don't love zippers. But this is interesting and I love all the stitching. It has a western kind of feel to it. So I, this is something I want to try on and see. I like it because it's pretty unique and cool. And in the men's section is one of my favorite accessories, which are ties. I love a tie and you can just always find really great options. Like, look at this one. I love this with the little print, but actually as I was grabbing it, then I saw this one. Oh, I love that. I love the hound's tooth with the blue stripe. Oh my gosh, that's a must have. I love that.
really oh. is meant to be buttoned all the way. Yeah. Which is cool, but I don't want to be. I don't, I don't love being limited to that. going through the Goodwill thrift store and just sharing just my overview of what I'm looking for in each section of the thrift store even the sections that I hit up and the other ones that I don't and in particular what I was looking for this fall I got a few of the goodies not all of them I can't get everything so I got the camel blazer that was a must-have I also got that amazing Western corduroy and then I also got the maxi that sheer flowing maxi skirt I feel like that is just it feels also season less I feel like I can wear that any season and then I got that really great tie but anyways that was some fun here at the thrift store giving you a little bit of the tread report how to thrift tips and tricks right here at the goodwill if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i have new videos every single thursday and finally always play dress up bye <laughs>